Next up is Princess Leia Prisoner. And now, last time I said that there were six Leia outfits, but whenever there were actually seven, because I forgot that this variant existed. I was mainly going off of the six variants that you unlock in story mode, but, and also one of the main reasons why I skipped this is because that it's so similar to her, to her normal variant that I just, it just skipped my mind completely. So, yeah, it's... If you look at it, you can see that really only the body has changed and it's just and a few stripes are straightened and are put in different places. So it's the same thing, except it looks better. So you could easily confuse the two because I mean, doesn't this look like she was a prisoner? That's that is that just me? Now we have the variant that you unlock in the betrayal over Bespin level. And I was honestly having a, a difficult time deciding if it if this should go below her normal variant or above her prisoner variant. I went with above because I feel like that the brown and white go together good. But the main reason why it kind of threw me off because because of the ponytail. I'm be honest, I do not like Leia's buns at all. But the ponytail, I just I I don't think it was done that well. It was done better in the Skywalker Saga, definitely. But the, but in this game, I just don't really think it looks that good. It it just it's just too long for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what what it is about it. At least she still kind of kept the, the bun. It was one singular bun, but still, still a bun. Now we have the second best Leia variant, being her Hoth variant. And I don't know what it is about it. I just feel like that the tan and the white go well together. Just. I don't know. I think it's a good combo. White does go with most things. I don't think there's a single color that it doesn't really go with. Because it is the staple of all colors. You need that color to thrive off of. You need that color so you can have an idea of where you, if, 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 if you want to go darker or light. But anyway, why are we talking about colors whenever we should be talking about Leia? Now, back to the, back to the pigtails. I, I, don't know, I don't know why. I've just never been a fan of the pigtails. They did change it with some of her suits in the Skywalker Saga that I've shown plenty of times, so if I don't feel like getting a picture for it, so literally go back to the, to the last segment if you want to see a picture of her without her tails. So, but yeah. Leia, in my opinion, is just a, a, a pretty boring character. Well, not boring, but just mediocre. I, I, just don't, I just can't really find myself to like Leia that much, and just, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> The best Leia variant is next with her boosh, bausch, bosh, yeah, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, her bounty hunter style from the Jabba's Palace level. Now, this is the, like, the most I've ever played as Leia in a level, mainly because the bounty hunter helmet thing is just so fun to just throw bombs at the Gamorrean guards. Just, that was the main thing I was doing throughout the entire level until the end where you had to fight the Rancor. And I may, and I could have used Luke, or yeah, pretty much Luke, a character I liked better. So, but I used Leia mainly because it was more movie accurate. And man, I, I don't really know. I just like use. I just started with Leia and just tried to end with Leia. So, and for some reason in free play, it just does not let you put on the bounty hunter helmet as Leia, even though it let you in the story mode. So, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that was all about, but. The reason why I feel like that this is her best outfit, outfit, besides from the fact that I played as it a lot, is because just I like the bounty hunter aesthetic of it. I know that sounds stupid considering the fact that she is supposed to be a bounty hunter here, but the brown and tan do really work well together. A, a dark and lighter shade of orange, which I find kind of, kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> From the leader of the Rebel Alliance to just a fellow foot soldier, we have the Hoth variant of the Rebel Trooper. And it pains me to put him as the worst of the Rebels, because I really like how, how this guy looks. Again, with the tan and the white, again, I, I think it looks really good, but it even but it looks even better than Leia. Because just I like the Anakin Skywalker helmet, but just in plain white instead of the brown and tan. So... And plus the backpack, and and he, the and the man has a bazooka for crying out loud, which that 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 gives him some coolness points. But other than that, there's he's just like I said, he's just 
just your fellow average Joe trying to find his way in the galaxy, trying to find a job that's stable for him, and the Rebels seem to be it. Our next Rebel Rebel Alliancer Alliancer is the the Rebel Rebel Pilot, Pilot. a.k.a. And I put him above the Rebel Trooper Hoth variant because mainly the helmet just looks better, and I like how the X-Wing suits look. I think that the orange and white go together, because again, like I said earlier, white goes with most colors, so... The the brown hips the brown hips they're they're iffy they're iffy they thinking about it now they could do kind of make it look good but yeah this this they, these these guys don't really have anything much to talk about them because they're just he, they're nameless people they just straight up rebel pilot not like Luke Skywalker's friend I forgot his name or like another nameless rebel pilot. But yeah, he's just trying to bring home his fle- his country colors, you know, that that orange, white, and blue, you know. Starting off the top seventy-five is the normal Rebel Trooper. Now there are four Rebel Troopers in this game, three of them having the helmet that the regular Rebel Trooper has, and it was kind of hard where to rank them, except well, mainly this one in number seventy-four. But yeah. The reason why I chose the person who is above him, uh, over than him, is because I feel like his color scheme works better than just the azure and black. Don't get me wrong, it's a good combo. Just like white, black goes with a lot of things, and blue also goes with a lot of things. So, yeah. He is just another nameless guard that you see multiple times throughout the Secret Plans level, but he's out. He's still, he's kind of cool, I guess. Now we got the main man who got choked by Darth Vader is Captain Antilles. Now he is just the Rebel Trooper, except with a different color scheme, being that orange and tan. But yeah, that's the reason why I put him higher, just the the color scheme. Because I did I did I do like the color blue more than tan and orange, so I was originally going to put Rebel Trooper above the Captain Antilles. But I thought about the further ability in the roles in the movies and the and the and the, yeah, that's really it. Well, the look of the characters because the jacket does make it look nicer than just a streak of blue in a black body. Now we got the main man himself, Rebel Friend. Yeah, I know what I said with Captain Antilles because he's actually nicer than the Rebel Trooper than just having a big azure strike down the middle of his chest. And yes, does he have a big red strike down the middle of his chest? Yes. But that's a part of the reason why I put him above him. Because unlike the Rebel Trooper, he's actually named. And yes, I do think that the red and black goes better. I just... Black and blue do work, but just not that shade of blue. Not really. Yeah, Azure, in my opinion, doesn't really that work that well. But yeah, Rebel Friend, we also help out in the lo- in the Secret Plans level by just shooting the Stormtroopers or clawing them into the unfathom- unfathomable abyss. So yeah, he's pretty. He is a pretty cool character, and he even got us a spot in the Skywalker Saga. Which I say, if you get that, then you you definitely have some respect on your name. Yeah. 